Welcome back to Life and Fork. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a steak fried rice right from your own home. So stay tuned. Check it out. One of my favorite cuisines to eat is Chinese, and I like fried rice. But I wanted to come up with a healthy variation for home, especially right now for my diet and to match the macros that I'm trying to eat. So I had to come up with my own fried rice recipe. So I'm going to show you how to make a steak fried rice. The steak I'm using today is a little bit of flank steak. So you can use any kind of beef that you would like in your recipe, but today we're using flank steak. So we're going to start getting our ingredients, our mise en place ready and chopped up and set aside. So that way all we got to do is cook it. So what we're going to do is get our knife. So what we're going to do is get our knife, sharpen it. Make sure you have a sharp knife. It's going to make it a very easy to cut through everything else. So now we'll start off with the onion. So we're just going to cut the ends off, cut it down the middle. We're going to use only half of an onion. That should be enough. So what I'm going to do with my onion now that I have it here, the stem side is here and this is the head of it, what I think is the head of it. So I'm just going to take it and cut it just like that to almost make some fan pieces that when it cooks you get a nice little texture. So I'm going to set that aside. The broccoli, I'm using three ounces of steamed broccoli. So all I'm going to do is break this down to smaller pieces. That way it's easier to fry up and it's easier to consume. Bigger pieces will be a lot harder to eat. So always think about that when you're cooking too. Make it easy on you or whoever you're cooking for. You know, so smaller is better in this case. Next, we got our steak. What I got here is a piece of flank steak that I cooked up earlier. So what I'm going to use is about four ounces to six ounces. So I'm going to take my six ounces, which is about there. Now with flank steak, there's ways to cut it. So with flank steak, you can see that the lines of the meat run this way. So what we're going to make sure is we cut this way and then chop. It's very important. That way your meat doesn't come out too uh, tough. So I'm just going to cut it down. Next, I'm just going to use and go across it. That way I get a nice little dice. This is almost like a small dice, I would say. Almost between a small and a medium. So then I'm going to set that aside. The rice, I steamed it yesterday. So now it's already been dried out a little bit and you want dry rice because it'll make it a lot easier to get that crispy uh, texture from fried rice that we all like, or they call pan rice. So we're going to head over to our stove now and get our wok nice and hot and start getting everything ready. What I have here is just a normal wok. I'm going to turn it on to high and let this thing get hot for about two minutes. It's really important that it gets hot so it makes cooking everything easier. And if the pan's really hot, you have a lot less issues with things sticking to the pan. While the pan's getting hot, I'm going to take the two eggs and just whisk them. As you can see, the pan is nice and hot. There's a nice little smoke coming off of it. This is the perfect time to add the fat. In this case, the fat is one tablespoon of organic coconut oil. Now that the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add my onions. So I'll pay them back and forth, get that smoke going. If you're not comfortable using the saute method of pushing your pan around, you can also use a wood spoon to stir it. This will help it if you're not comfortable flipping things and you're worried about getting a mess. So what I'm looking for here is for the onions to get a little bit of color and a little bit of softness. Because then I'm going to add my rice. You can see the nice color in the onions. Now that means it's time to add the rice. So again, with your spoon, you can use it to toss the rice back and forth. You're going to cook this for about a minute just to get the rice nice and crispy and hot. Now 
now it's time to add the beef. Again, just saute it back and forth. Get all the flavors. Unstick anything that's sticking to the pan. So use your wood spoon, it's very important. Metal spoon, no, because you can scratch your pan and that flavor will go into your food. So be careful with that. So wooden spoon always for this kind of recipe. Now we're gonna add our broccoli, same thing. Just keep on going back and forth, back and forth, mixing everything together. Here's where we're gonna add our seasoning. You might have noticed I didn't use any kosher salt because I'm gonna use some of my rice seasoning. So all I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit on top. This has a little bit of salt in it and a little bit of seaweed. So it's gonna give it a different kind of flavor. You're gonna push the rice off to the center to make almost like a pocket. That's where I'm gonna add the egg. So all I'm going to do is just add my two eggs and mix that around. Then they cook out. Once it's halfway cooked, then I can push the rice back to the center to incorporate it. So all I'm doing is just trying to make scrambled eggs right here and right in the middle. Now I'm going to incorporate the rice. What I'm looking for here is for the egg to be fully cooked, but not overly dry. You can tell by the bottom of the pan if you're doing it right. It shouldn't have too much egg sticking to it. There'll be a little bit, unless your pan is brand new, then you won't get a lot of stick. But this pan has already been used quite a bit, so there will be a little bit. At this point, it's perfectly cooked. Take it off the heat. I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of soy sauce. And mix that back and forth, just like that. And make sure everything gets coated with it. So you can see how nice it looks. It doesn't look like the one you get at the store or at the fast food place, I should say, because it doesn't have a lot of extra fillers, a lot of extra sugars and stuff like this. This is a healthy fried rice. Now that the rice is cooked, we're gonna transfer it to our bowl. I don't have a proper fried rice bowl, so I'm just gonna use this little white bowl I have. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff out the way so I don't make a big mess. And I'm just gonna use my wooden spoon and put it right in my bowl. If you're interested in the macros, just leave me a comment down below and I'll post the macros. That way you know what this uh, accounts for in sense of like your nutrition for the day. But it's pretty good. This is, you know, good carbs, good fat, a uh, good amount of protein, and some nice fiber because of the broccoli and everything else. So now that it's here and it's already done, the only thing you're gonna do is finish it off. So what I like to do is put a little bit of sriracha mayo on top, just like so. I'd like to add a little bit more seasoning. You know, it has to be nice and tasty. And that's it. You could also add a little bit of soy sauce if you choose to, but I'm okay. Sometimes I do it on the side for people who want a little bit more, you know, like salt or they need it. You can always serve it on the side. But it's a pretty simple bowl. It's, you know, it's simple. There's nothing to it. You can always substitute the beef for any kind of beef you want. You can always add more ingredients, scallions instead of onions. I mean, that's the best part about cooking. You can be as creative as you would like. It's like being an artist. This is your canvas, draw. You know, just have fun, paint, do whatever you want to do. Make it the expression of who you are. Hopefully you like this episode. As always, hit subscribe, hit the bell, get reminders, 
leave me any comments, any feedback, any suggestions on how to improve this video or how to make the audio better. If you want different kind of angles, anything. Always looking to get good feedback to make me better, to make this channel grow, to make it more successful. As always, love you guys. Until next time. Bye.